hey, this is a double read vibrato video. Uh, if you're a saxophone player in my class and you accidentally found the double read one, don't go to this one. Uh, this won't help you on saxophone. Um, so double read players, you are an instrument that does vibrato in, uh, in the band setting along with the flutes and the saxophones. And so we're gonna start learning how to do vibrato. Now you're gonna have to practice this a lot to where you get, you get good at it, you get comfortable with it. Um, what is vibrato? Vibrato is, is a wavy sound that you're adding to your tone. So normally, and I have an oboe here, so I'm gonna play a little bit of the oboe. Now you know this is not my best instrument, but it, here's B regularly. And then here's B with vibrato. So it's kind of, it, there's some waves in it. Um, and, and it just adds to the, to the beauty of the sound. You know, if you're able to keep a steady sound and then add that vibrato, it, it enhances the sound. It makes it sound much better. Uh, so that's vibrato. The important fundamentals that need to be in place for, for, for uh, sorry, for vibrato uh, are having a good, strong, steady sound, steady tone, steady air. You can't let your air fluctuate. It needs to be steady the entire time. Your embouchure has to be frozen, okay? Um, the only thing, and I'll tell you what you're moving in a second, but the only thing is you need to keep your embouchure frozen, you keep your air moving steady, uh, and, and don't let anything change. There's nothing else changing. You do vibrato just like a singer would, okay? So a singer isn't gonna move their lips to do vibrato. You're not gonna go, oh, right? That sounds really weird. Probably pretty bad. So you're gonna do vibrato a different way. Um, uh, and vibrato is all about controlling sound. So if you are trying to use vibrato and you can't control it, then, then you're not good enough at it yet to use it, if that makes sense. So like if you're gonna use vibrato and you're just going, you saw my lips moving, you heard the sound fluctuating, the air fluctuating, it didn't sound good. And that is, uh, that, that, that means you don't need to use vibrato yet. So um, the way that I want you to start practicing this is practice your a comfortable note. So for bassoons, you're gonna play E, that's your first note. For oboes, you're gonna play B, that was your first note. I want you to just play a regular whole note first before you do anything else. Well, actually warm up and then play just a whole note. So oboes, you're just gonna play. And in hindsight, it would be nice to have a metronome, so I'm gonna pull up a metronome right quick. Okay, actually I'm not, because it's gonna to take too long. Actually, let me do one on my phone, because that'll take less time. And then whenever you're watching this in video form, you can just uh, fast forward through it or you can enjoy the sounds of people mowing my front yard. Um, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna put this at 80. That was a whole note. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to uh, you're gonna you're gonna push a little bit of a puff of air on beat three, kind of like you're blowing out a candle. So if you're blowing out a candle, let's say you're just you're just blowing out air. I don't know if you could hear that on the mic or not, um, but it's just like a little extra, um, not huff, but like a little a little extra gust of of wind. So it sounds like this if you play it on beat three. Now my sound changed a little bit because I'm not the best oboe player. Your sound should not change. Let's do it again. So that was a whole note with, with blowing out a candle on beat three. Um, so what you do is, is when you do that, you are doing, you're pulsing vibrato in half notes. The first one is on beat one and two. 
the second whole half note starts on beat three and you're and you did vibrato on that half note so you played a whole note technically but you did vibrato for for half notes so now when you get to the point where you can play that really well start doing it in quarter notes so you're gonna you're gonna blow out the candle and beat two three and four Do it again. Okay. After you get good at that, and I'm going fast through the video because I don't want, you shouldn't have to sit here for weeks while I practice vibrato. Then you're going to move to eighth notes. Try it again. After that, you're going to move to triplets. And then after that, 16th note. Now, again, my vibrato is not the best example. Um, you can look up uh, tons of different professional oboe players that have great, beautiful vibrato, and they've played for many years. Um, but that's hopefully a good enough example to get you started, okay? The most important things are this. Keep your air steady. Don't let your embouchure change at all, okay? Your tongue shouldn't be doing anything to, to do anything with vibrato either. It's just like you're playing a whole note. The only thing is, is that you're, you're, you're controlling the air, the air speed, okay? And technically, if you're one of those people who wants to know, you're, you're moving your diaphragm. That's where you're starting, okay? Now, eventually you get to the point where you can control this air with, with, you know, up here in your throat and stuff, but that's eventually, okay? It takes a long time to get to that point. Um, practice this slowly. Start out in half notes for until you are comfortable doing that on beat three and you think that it sounds good. Move to quarter notes, okay? When you get to quarter notes, it's going to go a little bit slower because half notes, you only did it once, right? Quarter notes, you're doing it three times in a measure now. Da, da, da. Okay, and then you go to eighth notes and that's gonna be a little more challenging and then triplets and then sixteenths. When you get to the point where you're doing it in sixteenths, it should be easier for you to control. Now, another way you can practice this is if you're somebody who sings or if you don't sound good when you sing, but you like to sing anyway, you can practice singing with vibrato because it's the same kind of vibrato that you use for singing. So if you're singing a long note, ah, then you sing with vibrato. You can do quarter notes. Oh, sorry, I do sing a lot, so my vibrato is a little faster. And then eventually you can go, oh, and, and again, I, you know, I'd probably need to practice that for it to be steady, but um, it's the same kind of vibrato that you use for singing. So hopefully this helps. Use this video if you need a guide. Um, I think I kept it under 10 minutes, I'm not sure, but Thank you for checking it out. Practice vibrato, get great at it, and enhance, uh, enhance your sound. Make it beautiful. Bye.